Yes, he's on the right. I'm on the left. And of course, uh, well, Nimrata Ranhawa uh, just announced that uh, she is going to run for president of the United States of America. Of course, you know that, right? And you're saying, no, I don't know that. Yeah, Nimrata is Nikki Haley. I don't know why she's not going. Yeah, I know with her Nikki name. Haley. Oh, okay. Because here's and the issue. Respect, I'm going to call her by the name that she's chosen for herself. Okay, I'm going to do that. Uh, George Santos, out of respect for him, what are you going to call him? Or a- any uh, any Paulina Luna, who uh, who is a Mexican, who basically says she's Jewish. Can, can I don't know if this is all. Is this Haley yeah. instead of trivializing her? Because here's the Can't issue. We show some respect. I, I, I'll give her respect in just one second. My problem is is that you guys have I, I, identity politics problem on the right side. It's like you don't want to you don't want to cop to your identity. If you're not going to tell us who you are, how can I trust you to vote for things that are going to help my community? I, I don't get that. You know, Donald Trump. That's even not his that's, real name. You you're hiding you from what? something. I, I, as trusted media people as we are, we should be here to inform people, not to entertain them. I'm not trying to entertain. I'm making a valid point. You don't want to dismiss it. And that's exactly what you're doing. It, you're dismissing the fact it, relevant, it is it relevant, relevant when you've got that politics. She that she's running for the presidency. They're, they're lying about who they are. What, what else are they going to lie about? That's Can the we problem. Talk about Nikki Haley? All right, we'll talk about Namrata. Okay. Basically, she is running for president. And I wonder, does she have a shot against Donald Trump? Um, listen, she will run a highly conventional campaign. There will be a number, a number of other candidates with a stronger, a stronger case to represent generational change. I think in a pretty brutal uh, world, there is no clear rational rationale. Some people would say for her candidacy. Um, the, um, she was a two-term governor, former ambassador to the UN. But she, and, and I think she should be taken seriously. I mean, she's more than just a woman. Um, she is someone that has done very well for South Carolina. She had a stellar record as ambassador to the UN. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fact is that she said to Donald Trump that she would never run against him as long as he's running. And now that he's running, she's using his age as a fact as to why she's running. Mm-hmm. And at 51 years old, you can look at the 2024 race and think she can repeat some kind of a, a upset. And I think her speech was heavy on the theme of a new generation which has the advantage of working against both Trump, who will be 78 next year, and Biden, who will turn 82 after the election. And so I think mo- most of what Nikki Haley is emphasizing is a throwback to the pre-Trump GOP. But she is not above Trump-style trolling. And I think one of the few specific policies in her speech was mandatory mental competency tests for politicians mm-hmm. over 75 years old. Well, and you know— so, uh, and I, and, and people are going to question her her mental capacity when you one minute I love Donald Trump, next minute uh, yeah he's the worst. She has flip flopped so much on him, so I'm wondering how many policy positions is she going to flip flop on? I don't know. I mean, she did some ageism stuff right there. Now, if you and I did that, somebody's like ageism. You know, that's what she just did to Trump and Biden. So, but nobody is criticizing her for that. Well, I think um, you know I. Um ran out the Carson's campaign. I think Carson and Kane, Herman Cain could be instructive for uh, Miss Haley because they were black candidates who decried what Republicans now call wokeism, and they received a rapturous response from the party's primary voters who over, are overwhelmingly white. But as an inex- inexperienced outsiders to politics, neither could cope with the sustained scrutiny and attacks that came with their search in, search in the polls. And I think that Nikki Haley will get a surge in the polls, but I don't think it will, it will sustain the scrutiny of the attacks that will come after her. Well, it's just annoying, you know, to hear Republicans talk about woke this, woke that. We're just trying to get you to wake up. And that's 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 what wokeism is all about. Uh, understand your other constituents other than the people that fit your purview. That's all I'm saying. You know, listen, she's the first minority female governor in history. And I think she's the fact that she's never lost a race. She has some momentum building for her. We just see how long it lasts. Give her a chance. Well, I'm going to give her a chance because I do think she's qualified. I just I just wish these people would own up to who they are. Haley sounds very Anglo to me. Army, I appreciate it. That's Armstrong Williams. He's on the right. I'm Russ Parham on the left. And that's what's your point.